Okay, in this lesson we're going to be looking at Access Chapter 3, uh, Section A. Uh, we are over on page 642 and of page 43. The first thing we're going to do, want to do is open another file. So let's open the file we have for this lesson. Let's go to open other files. Let's go to com computer. And we're going to go to wherever you saved, stored your files for this lesson. I have mine under my hack folder. Uh, CIS. I want to go to Access, Chapter 3. Um, student data files and the file that we need is called A03A students major. Let's go ahead and open that file and then we're going to go ahead and save it. Let's go to file, save as, save database as. We're going to hit save as and we're going to go to uh, the place that you would save it. I put mine under my homework. Under I'm going to create a new folder and call it access chapter Three. Alright, we go ahead and open that, that file. And I'm gonna drop off the, the beginning, the A and the zero. I'm gonna make it Shodel. Well your last name. And underscore, and we're gonna hit save. Okay. And if you look at the, the navigation pane, uh, oh, this we should also enable the content here. Okay. You'll see we have two tables, and if you go um to the relationships, go to database tools and go to relationships. You'll see that we have the two related the relationship here between major ID and major ID. Okay. All right, this lesson here we're going to be looking at how to create a form. So the first thing I want you to do is I want, we looked at creating forms a little bit in the first lesson. Uh, what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and open the new students table. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go up to create and we're going to click on form. And this creates a basic form. We'll go ahead and close the property sheet over here on the right hand side. Okay, uh, you can see the different pieces of the, the parts of the window that they point out in page 645. The uh, record, um, let's close this here. The records are at the bottom. If we change our view to form view, we can actually peruse the records. Um, we can go to the end, the last record, the first record, then we can also create a record, which we will look at later on. Let's go ahead and save this. We're going to call this 3A New Students Form. Actually, I think it was our last name. Last name. Sorry about that. Three A new students form, and with okay. This is our new students form. All right. Um, let's go ahead and create a form from our other table. So let's go ahead and close this, and let's close this, and let's go ahead and open our um, majors table. Now we're going to go and close this, and we're going to go up to Create, and click on Form again. All right, and you'll, you'll notice that I want to point out this 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 form's a little bit different than the last form. Um, you'll notice that we have two sections here as well. We also have two sets of windows. Now, if you'll notice, let me, let's change over to the view form, the form view. The the this, this these options here at the bottom allow you to set, search uh, the different major IDs. Um, these options here allow you to search. From here, the, the the records are here. If we had a lot of records, obviously this would be more useful. Here we only have a few records, but that's basically what this is. Um, let's go ahead and uh, save this, and we're going to save this as um, last name, first name, three A. Let's see here, major form, and then we we'll hit OK. All right, let's go ahead and close that form. Okay, in the next part, page 646, uh, adding a record to a table using a form. Let's go to our student's form. Let's close this. Let's go to our student's form. And let's close this. And then we're going to create a new record. You can come down here and put the hip, click on the new blank record, which actually I always say it looks like, it looks like an arrow with a, uh, a little explosion. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and enter, enter in the student ID as 971. Two, three, four, five. Put in your name. Or put the we'll put the, make the address. Um, five. I think it's five, eight two zero Sweet Basil Court. Oops, sorry. Five eight two zero Sweet Basil Court, and the city is going to be Austin. And again, we're just filling the information in Texas. Uh, postal code is going to be 78726. 
the home phone will be uh, 512-555-5712. Email address will be D show rule. Actually, it'll be your, your first name, your last initial. You and your, your major ID is going to be 339. And, the, and once you go to here, you'll see that it saves the record and you're now part of it. All right, let's go ahead and close this. And we don't need to save when we're adding information. The only time we make a save is if we're saving a design change. Let's go ahead and open our major form. And let's go ahead and add a new record. We come down to here, a new, I'm sorry, a new major by clicking here. And the major we're going to add in is 339.555.712. I will be network work security. All right, and let's go ahead and close that. And that enters the information in. All right. All right. Let's go back to our major form and let's go on the um, let's go ahead and open that form again, the major form. And if we go up to here, we hit or if we click down on. Let's see here. We're gonna we're gonna click in here, and we're gonna click on major ID. Oh, I'm sorry, we're in the, I'm in the wrong form. Let's go here, the major form, and we're gonna click on find, and we're going to find eight hundred dot zero three, and we're gonna hit find next. That gives us the ACR technician. Uh, we go up to delete, drop the arrow down, and it hits delete record. It's going to ask us, are you sure? Oh, there's that noise. Yes, we are, because once it's gone, it's gone. Okay. All right. That's how you would delete a record. Okay, let's go ahead and close the major form for our next part next part of the lesson and open the student new student form. Uh, next, we'll talk about printing a form. So we would go to file, print, go to print. We would choose selected record, setup. And we would choose the column size to 7.5. Okay, and we're hit OK. That's how you would print. You would hit OK and print. We're not actually going to do that in this part of the lesson. I just wanted to show you how to do that. All right. The next part of the lesson talks about let's go ahead and open the major form as well. Let's go ahead and find that last record we created. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go to find 339. Point five 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 point two two. Find next, and then we can go to cancel here. Same thing, same process we did a moment. Find file, print, print. Selected records setup. Column width would be seven point five. Okay, and that's how you would do it. And then cancel. Okay, page six hundred forty nine. Filtering records using a form. All right. Let's go ahead and open our new students. We'll go ahead and close this form. Let's go ahead and open our new students form. We can close this. All right. Um, let's put your cursor on major ID, which is at the bottom. And let's go up to uh, find. And we're going to hit find. And we're going to type 339. And we're going to hit find next. And we find. This is how we would select. That's a simple way of finding. Okay. All right. Now, if you go up to selection, and you hit up here in the home tab and hit equals. You see, it says filter. This is basically fi finding all of the, the. We now have all the records that start with 339. Okay. Then we click here to unfilter and then filter. That's how that's called filtering. All right. Okay. All right. Next thing I want you to do is I want you to go to the first record, Jordan Bass. Go ahead and select the, just the B in the beginning of his name. Go up to selection and select begins with B, and it gives us all of the records that begin with the last name beginning with B. Burgeon, Boulevard, Bennett, Bradley, Brown. Okay. And again, when, you, when you're done, you hit toggle filter. That's how you untoggle it. Okay. Page 652, filtering by using filter by form. All right. Go up to the home, on the home tab, go advanced and select filter by form. Okay. And go ahead and hit, hit, hit the backspace. Okay. Um, what I want you to do is come down to city and we're going to drop this down and we're going to find dripping springs. Okay. And then we're going to toggle filter 
and this finds us all the records of people who live in Dripping Springs. Okay. All right. But we can do more than that. We can go to Advanced Filter by Form. And we can go over to Or, and we can add a second one, which would be Austin. Now we toggle filter. It gives us all of the records that begin. People either live in Austin or Dripping Springs. Okay. That's how you would toggle using that function. Okay. Again, that's the filter by form. We're going to clear all filters for our last filter, which would be the advanced and advanced filter sort. This is going to look very familiar to you guys from the last lesson. It uh, looks just like the um, like we're creating a query. All right. And to do it. So let me, let me turn over so I'm in the right section here. Um, we're going to, in this lesson, we're going to be looking for people who live in Austin with a major ID of 339. So just like using query, we would have city and we would have major ID, though I think I might be reversing it. No, I'm not. Under criteria for city, it would be Austin. Under major ID would be 339. And then we're going to hit toggle filter. And it gives us three records. These are the three people who live in this area and have um, Austin and have um, and have the major ID of 339. Okay, so let's go to advanced, clear all filters, and let's go ahead and close that. Okay, next part of the lesson talks about creating a form using a form wizard. Um, if when creating a form, you may have an interest in creating a form that only allows your end user to see certain specific things. In this lesson, we're going to do exactly that. We're going to create a form that only lets the person see the major ID. It allows them to make cha major changes, uh, changes to majors. So let's go to create, and let's go to form wizard. Okay, from here we can choose, um, let's make sure I'm giving you the right information. We're going to have the new students table. We're going to grab the following fields, uh, first name, last name, and major ID. We're going to hit next. Uh, we're going to select columnar. Okay, you can see the different field uh, layouts. We're going to hit next, and we're going to give this name 3A student. ID, uh, major change actually. We're supposed to put our, this we're supposed to put our last name. I, I haven't been doing that during these lessons. Last name and our first name. Makes the, makes these, it just makes these things so long. Last name, first name, student, major change, and we're going to hit finish. Okay. So you can see this, this, this field. You can see that this, uh, this, how this looks. <coughs> okay. Let's, let's go ahead and change our view to the layout view. All right, the first thing we do is we want to stack them up. So we want you to hold the, hold the control button down, go ahead and select each of the different fields. And we're going to go up to the Arrange tab. On the left-hand side of the Arrange tab, we're going to hit Stacked. Okay, we, have, we have all of our fields selected. Again, we do this by clicking on the control button, selecting all the fields. Okay, and we're going to hit Stacked. That makes them all stacked nice and evenly for you. Okay, this is over, by the way, in case you're wondering, is over on page 656 into 657. All right. Um, 657, applying a theme and formatting a, a, a view in layout view. Um, let's go ahead and unselect this. Let's go to the design field. Let's go to themes. Uh, we're going to find um, the, let me make sure I give you the right one, the retrospect, which I believe is right here. We're going to right click and we're going to hit apply to this theme, to this object only. This is important to, when you're doing the homework because you don't want to um, overwrite some of the other objects in the field. Um, that would definitely cause you some major issues. All right, let's go ahead and select the uh, title. If you notice, when you select it, this basically becomes text. Um, we can go ahead and select the text here. Let's go up to the format. So we select the text, go to format. We're going to change the size to, I believe, to 14. We're going to bold it. And we're going to change the color of the text to olive green. Um, Text to darker 50, which if you drop this down, I think it's the, this row all the way at the bottom, I believe. Olive green, yep. Text to darker 50. And that's how you change that. At this point, um, the, the, in the, the class, change that shouldn't be a huge deal. You've been doing that pretty much from the beginning. Okay, um, page 658. Let's go ahead and save as we go. Probably always a good idea to save as you go. Um, if, you, if you look over... Um, in the book, it wants to, it's asking us to add some more fields. So if we go over to the Arrange, uh, the Design tab, and click Add Existing Fields, it, it's, we want to go ahead and add the Student ID. So what you do is now you can put your cursor here if you want, and go ahead and hit Student ID. 
that can be a little, even that doesn't quite work correctly. So we want to add the student ID, and if you have a problem moving that, it's not really not a big deal. All you do is go to the Arrange tab and click Move Up. It lets you move up, then move them down, um, and that's how you would do that. I'll do that again for you guys. Do it again. So I would go to here, double click, and I want to go ahead. You can also drag it as well. But this, that might be easier to actually do. Might be easier using the move up, move down. It's actually a little, little, little easier than drag, trying to drag it. So again, we would, that's how we would drag the feet up. Okay, go ahead and click on the um, student ID. Um, let's see what we got here. Click on the student ID label and go ahead and close the field list. All right, and okay, you can see how it looks. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead and click on the student ID text box, go to the design tab, and click on the property sheet. We looked at the property sheet, property sheet in previous lessons, uh, but in this lesson, we're really going to uh, use it uh, properly to um, to help us to make to format our, our, our table. Now, we use the stack function, which basically make, make, means if you change the size of one, we change the size of all. So we have this box selected, we go over to the width, and we're going to change the width to 1.5 and hit enter. You'll see as I change that, it changes all of the, the columns. All right, go ahead and change this. Go ahead and close that. All right, we're also going to take the last name. We're going to move this up. So basically, put the last name above. What you would do is go ahead and click here, call both of these two, go to the Arrange tab, and move it right up. Okay, so we have last name, student ID, last name, first name, and major ID. All right, let's go ahead and save that. Okay, all right, moving right along. All right, formatting um, controls in the layout view. Okay, so click on the student ID label box. All right, and we're going to go up, to, up on the arrange tab. We're going to hit select column, which, by the way, would be the same thing as doing this. Not a whole, it's just a different way of selecting the column. We're going to go ahead and select that. Um, we're going to go... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm actually in the wrong one. Student ID text box. That's the label. This is the text box. We need to select column. We're going to go to the format tab, and we're going to choose the paint bucket here. And we're going to give it the background color of green accent 6, lighter 60, which I believe is green accent 6, lighter, make sure we give me the right, lighter 80, which I believe is the bottom one. Nope, it's a little higher, higher right there, I believe. Lighter 80. I know eventually get that allows us to change the color. Okay, well, while, while we're here, also let's go ahead and bold the text and let's go ahead and change the color of the text by using here to this one olive green, um, text to text to which actually the top, I'll just actually top olive green text to, All right, and that's how we would change that. All right, now you notice up in the left hand corner here, if we select this, it allows us to select all of the tables here. All right. Um, but that allows us to select all the tables. Let's go ahead and, with all the, all the uh, controls here selected. Let's go ahead and change this to 12. And I should let you know that you, you'll see the term control. Uh, that's what these are. These are control. This is a label control, and this is a text box control. Um, if you look up in the design tab, these are all the different controls that, as you get more advanced in your writing of access databases, that you would use. In this lesson, we're not going to use a whole lot of controls, but these are what's called controls. Okay. So all right. Okay, so we still have the selected. We have all of our tables selected. Let's go to the property sheet and let's change the height to 0.25 and hit enter and adjust the height of all of the fields. All right, let's go ahead and select that and save what we have. The next part of the lesson we'll be working in the design view. So we click on view and click on design view. You'll see the design view is broken into form header, detail, and form footer. Go ahead and select on the, select on the form footer. footer. And as far as the height, change it to 0 0.5, giving you a little bit of space down here. Okay. So we again, I'll do that again for you. So we have we click on the form form footer, go over to the height, change it to 0 0.5. That you can see it was set for zero, and now we have some space down here. We can put something. Go to the arrange tab. I'm sorry, the design tab, and you'll see this. This is called the uh, label control. When you click on it, your cursor becomes basically a little hand. Or I'm sorry, an A with a line. This is just like drawing a text box, a text box in Word. We want to put the upper left-hand corner, or we click with the upper left-hand corner, 
It doesn't really matter where we're going to put this because we're going to move everything eventually anyways. Go ahead and draw the text box at the bottom. All right, and we want to go ahead and type in the text. I'm going to make sure I'm giving you the right information here. I'll make sure to give you the right information here. The text we should put into here would be uh, Texas. Community. I'm sorry, Texas Lakes. I'm sorry, Lakes. Community College. Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and click off of there and click back into it. Go ahead and select the text. And this is just like in Word. We're going to click the format. We're going to bold it. Uh, we're going to change the font color to olive green, which is olive green text 2. Okay. With the label control selected, we're going to go over here to the, to the right. On the top, we're going to hit the point 1. That makes it basically point 0.1 inches, uh, 0.1 inches from the top. Move it up a little bit. Um, the left, we're going to set to the left we're going to set to zero zero point six again it's zero point six inches from the left you can see how it i just moved my hand as if it, as if it moved there for you all right let's go to home and let's go to view and let's go to form view you can see how the form looks all right guys that brings us to the end of our lesson uh,